Nebula, you've been so good. How about an upgrade? How about some more RAM? And I think I got another CPU for you over on the side. Okay, all jokes aside, this is Nebula. It's a 1U server, very low powered. The reason why, as a miner, you might be interested in a server is let me take you back over to the screen because I'm running on it. I'll show you exactly why a miner can use a server like this. Okay, so here's the web GUI for Nebula. She is a low powered 1U server and she is currently running on a Xeon E3 1220L V2 at only 2.3 gigahertz. It's only two cores, four threads, that's it. Um, she's not doing that much work at the moment, so you can see the CPU is not doing much, but the two things she does regarding to mining, one is the Machinaris Docker. That is used for Chia plotting, harvesting and also flax harvesting they just added in flax which is basically a fork of chia the other thing she does in regards to mining is i have right here uh a virtual machine for lubuntu it's a very lightweight ubuntu version and that's just running the Verus um, wallet the full node version of it so this way i can do staking with my Verus coins so what we're going to do today if we can see right here, the RAM is at 78%, and I actually had to shut off my unified controller because at that point I was getting like 98% RAM utilization. It was just too much because Machinaris sucks up a lot of RAM. Plus, it also holds four hard drives over here. These are all these hard drives are just for Chia farming. So we're gonna add in 16 more gigs to the existing. 16 gigs that are already in here of DDR3 ECC RAM. And we're also going to upgrade her CPU from the 1220L, which is only an 18 watt CPU, to a, let's see if we can pull this one up here correctly. Hopefully you can see that. This is an E3 1240 V2. This is a four core, eight thread CPU. And I believe it runs at either three uh, yeah, there you go, right on there, 3.4 gigahertz. So much faster speed plus double the cores and threads. So this will be nice for when I do have those workloads that takes a lot of work. So yeah, that made a lot of sense. So let's pull, let's shut her off, pull her out of the rack and give her a quick upgrade. <clears throat> so this is really easy to work on, especially on a 1U. Press these two pins down, let's open it on up. And there really isn't too much to it. If you look right here, I got two more spots for RAM, so let's install that real quick. That's all there is to a RAM upgrade. Let's go ahead and take off the CPU cover and switch it out for this newer CPU that I have sitting right here. And I also got some more Cryonaut. Okay, oh, yeah, I guess it would help if I get a paper towel. Okay, let's clean this off here. And let's give you a brain upgrade. And that's all there is to it. So don't be intimidated by working on servers. They're basically like really expensive or more stable regular desktop computers. That's all they are. So let's put this back in the rack and get started up. So now we're on the main page for Nebula. Now she's been upgraded. 
And we can see she's running an E3 1240 V2 at 3.4 gigahertz. And now we have double the cores and double the threads and a lot more processing power as well. The old CPU will only pull 18 watts max. This one I think is around 65 or 73 watts. So it's a hefty upgrade in processing power. Plus we have a lot more RAM available. Instead of hitting anywhere between 80 to 98% of RAM utilization, with only 16 gigs of RAM, we now have 32. And this has been running, oh geez, for five days now. I kind of took a break take making this video. And we're still sitting at 59% RAM, which means I can run more wallets in my virtual machine if I want to. And I can expand more. This is perfect. So basically to summarize, this is why I upgraded my server a little bit, gave it a better brain, gave it a little more RAM because I do use it in mining. I use it to hold wallets. I use it to run Machinaris, which is the Chia network, and it works beautifully. And it doesn't cost that much for a nice little one U server that has four hard drive bays, which are almost full now at the time of recording with the new plots for the pooling. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. If you wouldn't mind, come say hi over at the Mining Misfits Discord. I can answer any questions for you if you would like, and there's a lot of helpful people in there. I will see you on the next video.